Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. We are going to go through how to make a file. A lot of you have this question. Okay, so I'm clicked to uh, trace image. I click choose an image. I just went in and found just a piece of clip art. Okay, and this is free clip art. And you can find it. Um, we have it listed in our photo albums um, on our group page. Uh, and that will allow you to go find royalty free clip art that you can use um, without copyright uh, issues uh, that will allow you to do things like this. Okay. All right, so I have this. Well, you know what? I actually think I want to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to put the actual halfway point on the six inch mark. Or what I think is halfway. And I may have to redo this a couple times. Yeah. I really wish when we put it on something that it would stay and just grow. And not actually have to be constantly moved back and forth. But it's okay. Alright. You know what? That's okay. It's slightly off, but I don't care. Because I'm going to take my little knife tool. And I'm going to click... Okay, so my left mouse button is clicked, and I am holding it. I am still holding my left mouse key. Still holding, still holding. I still have it. Do you see this red line right here? Okay. So I still have it held. Now I released it. Doesn't look like anything happened, right? Wrong. This is what happened. I actually split my design. Okay, so I don't need this part. I'm going to delete it. I need this part, but let's come up to preview. All these little lines are open. I need them to close. Okay, how do I do that? Well, let's go to path, and we're going to actually click close path. And you'll notice this little line right here. Well, in order for you to kind of not be confused on how this thing cuts, um, you can go ahead and leave that there because when you cut this whole thing out um, to weed it so that it fully pulls away, you can just leave that there if you want um, because it will fully cut it um, out for you. Um, so now you see all of your little lines are fully cut. Um, I do actually go in and erase some of these larger lines. It's no big deal. You can leave it like that. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it there. But I do want to get rid of this one. Um, my kids' football team doesn't have that. They have an actual arrowhead. So I'm going to get rid of it. Taking the eraser. Ooh. Ooh. Could have actually used the round eraser on that part up there. But what do you do if you do something like that? Well, you can hit the undo and go back in and redo it. Let's wait for this to come back to life. Whenever you use the eraser, it sometimes takes a long time to respond. You can leave it like that. Or, let's take this shape. Shrink it all the way down to about the size of a line. Let's bring it all the way over here. Oops, stay right where you are. Grow it a little bit. Nope, see that wants to turn it. Come over here, uncheck keep proportions, and let's grow the width of that. Okay, you see what I just did right there? Now we got to come up, highlight everything, come up to path, and click union. And that will join that to that line that I just clumsily erased. Hmm. Okay, so there it is. I'll put back together again. All right. I don't like how this line right here, that pointed line, comes down. So I'm going to blow this puppy up. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to, oh, maybe, 
I'm going to find that line that's right here. See, it comes down to a point. Well, I know in real football helmets, that just doesn't happen. So let's find it. I'm going to bring it up, and then I'm also going to... Helps if I grab the right instrument, huh? And I'm going to add... Well, now that thing just took right on off, didn't it? I want to add... I bet you this is going to keep taking off, isn't it? Okay. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, so I took the pen and I added a line, or added a node, so that that would allow me to make a thicker line. And the only way to add nodes is with the pen. Okay, so let's back this out a wee bit. Okay, so that, to me, that looks better. And I'll also take a look to make sure that everything else kind of looks normal. And if it doesn't, I will go back in with my node editing turned on and I will fix the nodes. Make sure I grab it first. Sometimes you got to bring it way out to see all those little round ball things. These little things. So you know where they're at so you can fix them. Oops. And sometimes grabbing a hold of them is about the hardest thing in the world. Okay, so that looks better. So I'm going to take some time and kind of redo all of this stuff around here. Okay, I want to show you something while I'm in here. When I highlight this, it'll highlight kind of the whole bar there. I'm going to come up here and I click delete. And it'll actually delete those nodes for those lines. So instead of erasing them, oops, come up here, click undo. That one tells me that's part of this line. So if I want to find one, so see there's one hidden under there. Let's click off it. Let's see if I can get that one instead. See, so that highlighted this line. I know that should be part of that line. Yep. Okay, so that removed that one. Let's see if I can't capture that one and get rid of that too. Nope, that was part of that line. I got that one. Nope, that one's still part of that line. But you can go through and find the ones that are part of these little lines here that we really don't need and don't want. Woo! But don't be afraid to do it if you don't want to use the eraser to get rid of them. Because when you do it, just hit undo. But like I said, they're okay to have anyhow. Because, you know, to when you do your weeding. Alright, so I'm going to come back in here and keep working. Okay, so I got that all done. I'm going to come up and do a couple path simplifies. Oh, it doesn't look like I have to do many. And what Path Simplify does is it reduces the amount of nodes that are present. Nope, see, the difference between these two isn't that great, so I'm just going to leave it. Looks like I need to get rid of this little mark right here. And then we'll be on to adding fonts, things like that. Okay. So that 
it's just the basic shape okay well let's say you all know kind of how to add fonts but let's say I wanted to add a, a name and let's just pick out a font let's just do the oops let's do a collegiate okay so let's say I wanted to add a name to the curve of this helmet well I could individually place those but let's do the type on the arch let's try this okay let's see if that will fit okay let's grow it that's a pretty good guess right off the bat for the size wise yeah okay so that fit almost perfectly and that was okay you push and you long hold on the um, left mouse key push and long hold and that'll bring up this option which is type on arch up here don't forget about these boxes up here um, the radius was three inches and then I did the outside there is also an inside which will then arch it up like a smile okay um, then you can also let's do this okay the more you go up that decreases the radius okay let's select this again and then if you do inside that makes it look like a smile okay so you can do tops and bottoms things like that but that all is also available in another video uh, for the type on the arch okay so then if you wanted to add the number you could add the number in here um, this is actually my son and his number you could add that in here and then whatever else on the side uh, here wherever you know you want but this is just showing you how to build a file all right so let's get rid of and then I would also come up here and do a path union unless I was doing this out of a different color of HTV um, but the most important thing is if you're doing this in HTV the heat transfer vinyl what's the one thing that you have to do with all files I shouldn't say all but most of them you have to gosh darn it object transform maybe if this will cooperate with me the flip horizontal mirror you want to mirror everything okay but there is certain kinds and they'll send you instructions that will have you not mirror it okay all right so let's bring in another one Let's go grab another quick one. Let's grab this little football here. Okay, you bring in this football, but you need to do certain parts of it in certain colors. Okay, so this all needs to be brown, and then these little thingamajobbers have to be white. Well, how do you get that? You come up here to, hang on, let me grab it again. Come up here to object and you click break apart and it will all go black don't panic you can still see them back here okay but there's gonna be a bottom layer that's going to look like this okay so that's what you'll have to do you'll have to pull that bottom piece out then you can go about grabbing your smaller pieces so if you need the laces you want to go like that then if you need just the laces just highlight the end parts of your laces grab them move them out of the way make sure you object group them or else you could be in big trouble okay so now you have this part of it so object group that you can start creating different pages by coming up and clicking on the plus sign and then you can have your 
white page. Let me get rid of the library. And then you can um, click this, send to page white. Okay, click that, send to page white, click that, send to page white. And then all this stuff is normally kept in brown, correct? So you can group that leave that brown and what do you want to do with this well a lot of times this is the black part that shines through or shows through all of this in the little uh, seams correct so how could you go about trimming this out so that it's viewable in all of those parts well let's object duplicate that so that we have an extra when you're going to kind of try something out, always make a duplicate. Or you can just undo it, but always make that duplicate. Oops, let's pull this over. And we're just going to center them to each other. Well, to the page and that, that's fine too. Okay, so let's try a path. Let's do an exclude and see what we get. You can also do back minus front. We'll see if that gives us just lines. <gasps> there we go. So this can be your black page. Send that over there. And there you go. So this can be page brown. There's page white. I'm bringing this little feller back in here. And there's your black page. And if you want, you can remove all of this or just lay your pieces on top. Okay. This is just a really quick for instance in how to make files, how to use the basic um, things up here to go about creating things, how to break them apart, how to pull them apart, put them back together to achieve what you want, okay? So this whole thing started out as just a really simple, um, flat, one-layer image, uh, a JPEG, and we turned it into a three-layer file. All right, guys? If you have any questions or you want to learn lots more, come and join us over at... Um, Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.